Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I'm going to be doing some no-line watercolouring. I've got some Strathmore Cold Press watercolour cardstock and this has like a smoother side and a rough side. It's a fairly white uh, watercolour paper as far as they go. And I've got a stamp which is from Penny Black. It's called Poppy Gems. So I've got a Distress Ink. It's bundled sage which is a fairly light distress ink um, stamping the image out on a piece of you know paper first and that way I'll have a reference to look at if I do sort of lose my picture a little bit because distress inks activate with water and I'm going to be watercoloring so my image isn't going to stay as sharp as when I stamp it but that's the whole point I want it to look like it's uh, not so bold on the outside or the the lines of it like more like they're painted other than sort of stamped those nice bold bright um, blacks that I usually use so I'm using my Fiskars stamp press and that just helps me get a lot of pressure on the whole stamp because it because it is such a large stamp and it actually stamped out really quite well <laughs> I was thinking oh I, maybe I could have used my Misty, but oh, I don't know, I just felt like using my Fiskars stamp press today. So I've chosen some colours from the Kiritaki Gansai Tambi watercolour set, and I'll list all the colours that I'm using over at my blog, and the link will be down below in the YouTube description. This is quite a long video because I didn't want to cut too much of the colouring out, although I do have to speed it up quite a bit. So I've got two wells of water beside me. One of them is for rinsing my brush, the other ones are clean. And what I'm doing is I'm dropping some clean water onto the flower petals. I'm trying not to get petals that are actually touching each other at the moment because I want each one to dry so that my colours don't get too mixed up. It doesn't really matter so much when they are the same colour, but just helps to define each petal and make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, not going to do a lot of layering in these flowers because it is such a large image it would just take forever and as it was this took me an hour and a half to make this card so what I did was actually just color them fairly simply allow them to dry and then to add a bit of depth I dropped in just a really really diluted um, black so use it almost as a gray just for some for some shadow. So I'm going to get on with my colouring now and I'll be right back when all of that is done.
Okay, so I forgot to turn my camera back on and I've used my Misty to stamp out my sentiment with some Onyx Black ink and it comes from this patisserie set. I use the Misty because it is the watercolour cardstock I wanted to make sure that it um, stamped out well. I could have re-stamped then easily if um, it did misstamp. I have cut the panel down to the size that I want, which is just a little bit smaller than the front of a card and I'm adding a couple of pieces of scrap paper so this is a gold polka dot foil paper and I just thought it'd be cute to have those little gold dots peeking out the edge and I've got some DMC this is a metallic thread I thought I'd just wrap this around a couple of times and tie a bow I haven't really tied bows on anything for <laughs> for a while and I've seen people using these tweezers and I thought I'd give it a go and, and it didn't really work. Well it kind of did work <laughs> and, but it probably would have been easier not to use them. <laughs> I kind of got a little bit tangled. So of course like any bow you have to fuss with it for a little while until you're happy with And then I can just snip the ends away. So I like to use um, the micro glue dots behind my bows. I think that they would, they just help hold it in place and they stick really well and I don't have to wait for a liquid glue to dry. I've got another piece of cardstock that I'm going to place directly on the bottom edge of the front of my card. This is going to peek out down the bottom. And I'll just snip away the edge. I find that using a large straight pair of scissors is the easiest to do this. And then I can add my panel, which I've popped some fun foam onto the back of. So as a final touch, I'm adding some turquoise enamel dots. I fussed with those for a little while too. <laughs> as you do and that's pretty much my finished card for today thanks for joining me i'll be back again real soon till next time happy paper crafting bye